I learned about the present moment, of being in the present moment through my son. We were in New York City, and he had just gotten his first job. And it was at Vanity Fair magazine. And this was a few years ago. And I had just left my job, my prior life, the life that we had together. I had resigned from my position at the medical school. I left academia. Mm. I had sold my house. I gave away most of my things. And just as we are living in today a time of deep void, we don't know what's next, right? It's a time we're living in right now of deconstruction. Things are dissolving. The institutions, the organizations, the way that we have known of life, we're in that time now. And that was the time that I was in, where it was like the black void. I was in the belly of the whale. What was new for me, I'd given up a lot, but what was new for me, what was next, was not, I didn't know. I didn't know. And we don't know that today in this world. We know today in this world is that large populations are speaking out and saying, you know what, we've done everything and we've got ourselves here, and where we have gotten is not working for me. Particularly women from many different walks of life and from di different messages for different reasons. And it's all good. Because we're, we begin to plant those new seeds, what it is that we want instead. That's not so clear yet right now, right? We're in the deconstruction. We're in the dissolving. And that's what my life was like when I was out to dinner with my son in New York City. And since we just really had the two of us, he was confused by my change. And so was I. I didn't have much good explanation for him. He was concerned like a loving son, yeah? And so out to dinner, he, he leans forward and uh, in the midst of that conversation, and he leans forward and he lowers his voice. And you know, as mothers, we know when our sons want to tell us something that's really important to them. And he goes, Mom, I, I will say this. You are more focused now. You are more focused now, so the words hit me. I, I got it. But the story, the real story, were in the tears in his eyes. Because in those tears was the mother frantically trying to keep his sister alive. In those tears was the mother who was frantically trying to carve out services that would match the quality of beingness that I saw my daughter to be. And then there wasn't just one. There were many, many children in the 80s and the 90s in Miami whose services were not matching who they really were and what they deserved. And there I was. And that was in the tears of his eyes. But more than anything in those tears was a mother that when she was with her son, she was worrying about what didn't happen and fretting and remorse and the guilt. Whatever, the mind, the busy, busy mind, right? How many people have a busy mind? We're all over the place. We're not here most of the time. And then the mother who was worrying about the future. If she wasn't in the past, she was in the future. How many people plan all day long? I, I was planning all the time, right? Because see, you see, the present moment is all that we have. Not because we may die in the next moment, and that could be true. But it's the most important moment we have. Because see, what, was, what happens is that this moment that we're in, for each one of us, each one of us is in a different moment. Your experience isn't the same as mine. But this moment will define and shape your next moment. And that next moment shapes the next one and the next one. And we don't want these moments to take a shape over time, all impacting each other, landing us in a place where we don't want to be, where we had something we hadn't hoped for, something that we hadn't expected. 